Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel and welcome back to Artist Analysis. So far, my country artists in this series have included Little Big Town, Luke Bryan, Jason Aldean, and Blake Shelton. Now it's time for another edition, Dirks Bentley, the singer of hits like 5150, Come a Little Closer, Gone, and Drunk on a Plane. Just like with most artist analyses, my analysis of Dirk Bentley will be split into two parts with this, my first part, being the one in which I'm going to discuss the beginnings of Bentley's career and his first four studio albums. In the next part, which will be my next video, I'll discuss Bentley's career ever since the release of Feel That Fire. Before I begin, I want to remind you that my channel, From Laura's Perspective, is constantly adding to its library of video essays on a variety of topics. So if that's what you like, smash that red subscribe button. Frederick Dirks Bentley, who publicly goes by his middle name, was born on November 20th, 1975 in Phoenix, Arizona. Bentley's father, Leon Fife Bentley, was vice president of a bank and had served as a first lieutenant in World War II. Bentley went to high school at Culver Academies in Indiana before transferring to Lawrenceville School in New Jersey, from which he ultimately graduated before attending college at the University of Vermont for one year before transferring to Vand Vanderbilt University in Tennessee, from which he would graduate in 1997. After college, Bentley would work at the Nashville Network, known today as Paramount Network, doing research on footage of old country performances. By 2003, Bentley began recording country music of his own through Capital Nashville, eventually releasing his eponymous debut studio album. Dirk Bentley's third studio album, which he named after himself, just like Jason Aldean and many other artists, released three singles. Bentley's self-titled album peaked at number 26 on the Billboard 200 Albums chart and at number 4 on the Top Country Albums chart and made the monumental achievement of being a debut album to be certified platinum by the RIAA. Dirk Bentley's debut single, What Was I Thinkin', also made the surprising achievement of reaching number one on the Billboard Hot Country Songs chart. In addition, What Was I Thinkin' peaked at number 87 on the Billboard Hot 100 and at number 6 on the Hot Country Songs chart. In this up-tempo song, the narrator wonders what he was thinking when he engaged with a southern belle named Becky in all kinds of foolish activities including driving his truck through a cornfield to escape the police, getting in a fight with a man with a born-to-kill tattoo who, come, who came between him and Becky, and ultimately bringing Becky home much later than her father expected him to. Bentley's second studio album, Modern Day Drifter was released through Capitol Records Nashville, was certified platinum by the RIAA, peaked at number 6 on the Billboard 200 Albums Chart, and reached number 1 on the Top Country Albums Chart. Modern Day Drifter's lead single, Lot of Leavin' Left to Do, is about the way Bentley's music career, particularly his tour schedule, affects his romantic relationships. Specifically, 
It was meant as a warning to any potential lover of Bentley's that their relationship might not last for the aforementioned reasons. Lot of leaving left to do peaked at number three on the Billboard Hot Country Songs chart and the single was certified gold. Modern Day Drifter's second single, Come a Little Closer, is a ballad that was sultry and sexual in a way that was highly unusual for country music of its release year of 2005. In fact, Deborah Evans Price of Billboard magazine compared its lyrics to those of Conway Twitty's I'd Love to Lay You Down, which itself pushed the envelope during Twitty's era. The single of Come a Little Closer was certified platinum by the RIAA and topped the Billboard Hot Country Songs chart. The album's third and final single, Settle for a Slowdown, is a mid-tempo ballad in which a man stands in the rain while his loved one is pulled away, hoping that the truck in which she is riding will flash brake lights for one second, implying that the lover is having second thoughts. The single was certified gold and reached the top of the Billboard Hot Country Songs chart. Bentley's third studio album, Long Trip Alone, peaked at number five on the Billboard 200 Albums chart and at number one on the Top Country Albums chart, and the album was certified gold by the RIAA. Long Trip Alone's lead single was Every Mile a Memory, which Bentley wrote alongside Steve Bogard and Brett Beavers. In the lyrics, the narrator misses a woman so much that everything he sees reminds him of her. Every Mile a Memory peaked at number 48 on the Billboard Hot 100 and at number 1 on the Billboard Hot Country Songs chart and was certified gold by the RIAA. The next single released off of Long Trip Alone was its title track. Like Every Mile a Memory, Bentley wrote Long Trip Alone with help from Steve Bogard and Brett Beavers. In this song, the narrator laments his reality of frequently traveling alone and wanting a traveling companion, not just on tour, but in the general journey of life. Long Trip Alone peaked at number 66 on the Billboard Hot 100 and at number 10 on the Hot Country Songs chart. Long Trip Alone's third single, Free and Easy, Down the Road I Go, was Bentley's fifth number one single on the Billboard Hot Country Songs chart. The song is essentially about a country boy pursuing country music, much like Bentley himself, though Brett Beavers, Rob Harrington, and Rod Jansen helped him write the song. In addition to that honor, Free and Easy, Down the Road I Go, peaked at number 46 on the Billboard Hot 100 and was certified platinum by the RIAA. Trying to Stop Your Leaving was the fourth and final single released off of Long Trip Alone. Throughout the song's lyrics, the narrator uses metaphors for his seemingly fruitless effort to keep his lover from leaving him. Trying to Stop Your Leaving peaked at number 73 on the Billboard Hot 100 and at number 5 on the Hot Country Songs chart. Bentley's fourth studio album, and the last one I'm going to discuss today, Feel That Fire, peaked at number three on the Billboard 200 Albums chart, reached the top of the Top Country Albums chart, and was certified gold by the RIAA. Though not released as a single, Feel That Fire's seventh track, Beautiful World, featuring Patty Griffin, was nominated for Best Country Collaboration with Vocals at the 52nd Grammy Awards. Feel That Fire's first single release was its title track. 
Bentley co-wrote this song alongside Brad and Brett Warren and his producer Brett Beavers, the latter of whom also co-wrote most of the tracks on Feel That Fire, the album. This up-tempo song uses mostly electric guitar and banjo, which is set in the key of A flat major with guitar set to E flat tuning and Bentley's vocals ranging from G flat 3 to E flat 5. In Feel That Fire, the song, the narrator lists off all the things his lover wants to do, such as riding bulls at the rodeo, adopting stray animals, and most importantly, feeling that fire by being the narrator's lover. Feel That Fire reached the top of the Hot Country Songs chart, being Bentley's sixth single to do so. The single also peaked at number two on the Canada Country chart, at number 32 on the Billboard Hot 100, and was certified gold by the RIAA. Feel That Fire's second single was Sideways, a personal Dirk Bentley favorite of mine. The song is about a narrator who is trying to talk to a girl in a bar, but is unable to hear what her name is due to the loud noise in the bar. Sideways was Bentley's seventh single to reach the top of the Billboard Hot Country Songs chart, and the single was certified platinum by the RIAA. Feel That Fire's third and final single was I Want to Make You Close Your Eyes. The song is about a man who wants to make his lover feel so sexually aroused by him that she closes her eyes to savor a moment of intimacy. Bentley said of the song, One of the best compliments I can get is when a guy comes up to me and says that one of my songs helped him out at home. Maybe helped him smooth something over with his girlfriend or wife. That's the goal with this one. I Want to Make You Close Your Eyes peaked at number two on the Hot Country Songs chart and was certified gold by the RIAA. Thank you all so much for watching. If you're a Dirk Bentley fan, I hope this video gave you a good idea of his beginnings and what his early music sounded like, which included a lot of love songs, songs about being a traveling musician, and use of electric guitar and banjo. Tune in next time for part two to learn about how Bentley's music has evolved ever since Feel That Fire. If you liked what you see, saw and want to come back for more, hit that red subscribe button to join my video essay library. But if you're not quite sure yet, click one of the links up here to see more of what I have to offer.